Hi everyone, I'm Lian from MedicLink, sole authorized distributor for Philips Respironics Hospital Care Ventilators. Behind me here is the Philips Respironics V60 Plus. This video is made for hospitals with current existing V60 ventilators already currently in their departments and is considering to upgrade the existing units with the high flow nasal cannula therapy software. So let's have a look at this Philips Respironix V60 Plus with the high fashion C already, which is a high flow nasal cannula therapy. This setup, you might be familiar with it. It is your standard NIV setup, okay? Single open flame circuit with your proximal pressure line hooked to the machine. And over here, which is your patient end, this will be hooked to your NIV mask, which could either be the oral nasal mask or some hospitals might be using the full face mask. Okay. This is your standard NIV setup. Let's look at how to transition from NIV setup to your high flow nasal cannula therapy. When you turn on the machine, this will be what you see with your NIV interface, with your NIV modes, which is your CPAP, ST, which is your BiPAP mode, PCB, as well as your AVAX mode, which is the average volume assured pressure support. The additional thing that you can see over here will be HFT, stands for high flow therapy. How do you transition from NIV therapy to high flow therapy? By pressing standby, removing the circuit from your patient so that it goes into standby mode. This is where you choose your interface as well as your circuits. For circuits wise, we recommend using a heated wire circuit because for high flow nasal cannula therapy, we highly recommend using it together with the heated humidifier to avoid inflammation at the airway. Ventilation stands for your NIV settings. HFT stands for high flow therapy. So in this case, you should choose HFT. So before you choose HFT, make sure you have the correct setup for HFT. So this is where I will bring in the heated wire circuit. So here we have the heated wire circuit. Why we recommend using heated wire circuit is because uh, when you're using the machine high flow therapy together with the heated humidifier, there might be some condensation in the circuit. So this will help reduce the condensation issue. Right? So of course you have to have your bacteria filter over here. Okay. Your short circuit tubing from your ventilator to your humidifier chamber. Then for the long inspiratory circuit, We have nasal cannulas from sizes S, M to L. The packaging itself is where you gauge the size to use. Alright, you can see here S, M, L. Just put it over your patient like this. Okay, so once it's all hooked up, press and select HFT, which is a high flow therapy. Once you are in this screen, what you can see is flow settings as well as your FiO2 settings. From, for the flow, you can adjust from 10 liters all the way up to 80 liters per minute. For your FiO2, you can adjust 21% all the way up to 100%. So once you are happy with it, just click and select Start HFT. So now we are on high flow nasal cannula therapy. So what if you want to change back to NIV therapy from high flow nasal cannula? You can transition back to your NIV setup using the same circuit. For NIV therapy, this circuit package comes together with a DEP, which is where your leak source is, your leak outlet. This is where your CO2 will be coming out from. 
and then you have your proximal pressure line to connect to the machine. Same thing, press standby. Okay. Once in this screen, press ventilation. So this is your NIV setup. As easy and quick as that. If you are not using humidifier, you can opt to off the humidifier because some hospitals they prefer to just use HME over here for the patients for NIV therapy. So when you hook it up, you can either choose your oronizer mask for NIV therapy or your full face mask. Thank you very much.